Dear friends, welcome to the spoken tutorial on solving ODEs using Euler methods. At the end of this tutorial, you will learn how to solve ODEs using Euler and modified Euler methods in Scilab. Develop Scilab code to solve ODEs. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu 12.04 as the operating system and Scilab 5.3.3 version. To practice this tutorial, a learner should have basic knowledge of Scilab and should know how to solve ODEs. To learn Scilab, please refer to the relevant tutorials available on the Spoken Tutorial website. In Euler method, we get an accurately approximate solution of the ODE. It is used to solve initial value problems where initial values of the differential equation are given. It can be used to solve continuous functions. Let us solve an example using Euler method. We are given an initial value problem y dash is equal to minus 2 t minus y. The initial value of y is given as minus 1 and the step length is given as 0 0.1. We have to find the value of y at time t equal to 0 0.5. Let us look at the code for Euler method. Open Euler underscore ODE dot SCI on Scilab editor. We define the function Euler underscore ODE with arguments F, T in it, Y in it, H and N. Where F denotes the function to be solved, T in it is the initial value of time T, Y in it is the initial value of Y, H is the step length, and n is the number of iterations. Then we initialize the values of t and y to vectors of zeros. We place the initial values of t and y in t of 1 and y of 1 respectively. Then we iterate from 1 to n to find the value of y. Here we apply Euler method to find the value of y. Finally, we end the function. Save and execute the file Euler underscore ODE dot SCI. Switch to Scilab console to solve the example problem. We define the function by typing DEFF open parenthesis open single quote open square bracket y dot close square bracket equal to f of t comma y close single quote, comma open single quote, y dot equal to open parenthesis minus 2 asterisk t close parenthesis minus y close single quote, close parenthesis. Press enter. Then type t in it is equal to 0. Press enter. Then y in it is equal to minus 1. Press enter. Type step length h is equal to 0 0.1. Press enter. The step length is 0 0.1 and we have to find the value of y at 0 0.5. So, the number of iterations should be 5. At each iteration, the value of t will be increased by 0 0.1. So, type capital N is equal to 5 and press enter. To call the function type open square bracket t comma y close square bracket equal to Euler underscore ODE open parenthesis f comma t in it comma y in it comma h comma capital N close parenthesis press enter. The value of y at t equal to 0 0.5 is shown. Now let us look at modified Euler method. It is a second order method and is a stable two step method. We find the average of the function at the beginning and end of time step. Let us solve this example using modified Euler method. 
we are given a function y dash is equal to t plus y plus dy. The initial value of y is 1 and the step length is 0 0.01. We have to find the value of y at time t equal to 0 0.1 using modified Euler's method. Let us look at the code for modified Euler method on Scilab editor. We define the function with arguments f, t in it, y in it, h and n, where f is the function to be solved, t in it is the initial time value, y in it is the initial value of y, h is the step length and n is the number of iterations. Then we initialize the arrays for y and t. We place the initial values of t and y in t of 1 and y of 1 respectively. We implement modified Euler method here. Here we find the average value of y at the beginning and end of time step. Save and execute the file modi-euler-ode.sci. Switch to Scilab console. Clear the screen by typing clc. Press enter. Define the function by typing deff open parenthesis open single quote open square bracket y dot close square bracket equal to f of t comma y close single quote comma open single quote y dot equal to t plus y plus t asterisk y close single quote close parenthesis press enter then type t in it equal to 0 press enter type y in it equal to 1 press enter then type h equal to 0 0.01 press enter type capital N equal to 10 since the number of iterations should be 10 to time t equal to 0 0.1 with step length of 0 0.01. Press enter. Then call the function modeuler underscore ode by typing open square bracket t comma y close square bracket equal to modeuler underscore ode open parenthesis f comma t in it comma y in it comma h comma capital N close parenthesis press enter the value of y at t equal to 0 0.1 is shown let us summarize this tutorial in this tutorial we have learned to develop Scilab code for Euler and modified Euler methods we have also learned to solve ODEs using these methods in Scilab Watch the video available at the link shown below. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown below. This is Ashwini Patil signing off. Thank you for joining.